expect. Drugs and crime continue to creep into our area neighborhoods. Tonight, we're showing you how residents are fighting back, pushing out dealers, vandals, and thieves. Fox 25's Siobhan Anderson is live in Kettering to explain. Siobhan? Nathan, the man who lives here on Lakewood Drive tells me his home has been vandalized nearly a dozen times since moving in last year. He tells me he's had enough, starting a neighborhood watch group to help this community catch the criminals. It started when Emmanuel Smith moved into his Kettering apartment. Like the second day I left, came back, there's a huge scratch there. Ten times in 12 months. All the way down. At this point, vandals hitting every room, scraping walls and in the kitchen. And just started scraping the cabinets. Downstairs, someone took hammers to the floor and wrote graffiti. Every time I leave, you know, I come back and it's... It's just torn up. This now he carries the, this small I mean, card, his membership to the, the National Sheriff's Association. It's called the Greater Dayton Community Watch Network. A watch group he started out of frustration in the hopes he and his neighbors can sleep easier. Making sure that people that think they're above the law are not. Across town, David Erzog in the same boat. And I came back and the windows were busted out. They didn't get in, but they tried. After an attempted burglary in his Harrison Township neighborhood and other repeated incidents, he started the Northridge Community Watch. Around 30 to 40 members uh, regularly. David asking us to meet him here in front of the city building, concerned with retaliation, while the group works harder than ever to eliminate drugs. If we can stop that, that's going to help us stop you know, a lot of the crime. In a year, they've expanded past their original four block radius, now covering most of the east side, and it's working. We've already had a few things get taken care of. Right a goal there. Emmanuel hopes That's to achieve with his group, which is yet to recruit members. He uh, says there's more steps that need taken, including more talks here. with Kettering police. Meanwhile, both men saying things only get done if the community yes. steps up. We're the eyes out here, so we see things out here, we report them. Police can't be everywhere at all times. If you'd like more information on how to start your own watch group, you can visit our website, fox45now.com. We'll have info on how to do that. You can also visit your local police department. They can also help you get started. Live in Kettering tonight, Siobhan Anderson, Fox 45.